If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Question. Which of the following report do we have to use to create manage custom validation messages for the business processes? Option 1. Maintain learning validations. Option 2. Maintain drop course event categories. Option 3. Maintain other unit types. Option 4. Maintain severe unit types. Question. During which of the following scenarios does Workday displays a validation message to its users? Option 1 when they can and number 39, T drop. Option 2 when they can't enroll in a course. Option 3 both A and B. Option 4 when they can enroll in a course. Question, which of the following unit types are provided by Workday Learning so that you can add to courses and course offerings? Option 1 Continuing Education Option 2 Continuous Professional Development Option 3 Course Units Option 4 All of the above Question, select the report from the following which we have to access to view other unit types and their usage. Option 1 View other unit types Option 2 Edit other unit types Option 3 Share other unit types Option 4 Print other unit types Question, state whether a given statement is true or false you can only create validation rules for digital courses that require enrollment. Option 1 True Option 2 False Question, for which of the following business process do we have to use the Maintain Learning Validations report to create and manage custom validation messages? Option 1 Drop Learning Enrollment Option 2 Enroll in Course Option 3 Both A and B Option 4 Doesn't Enroll in the Course Question, which of the following severity level do we have to set for the new validation? Option 1 Critical Option 2 Warning Option 3 Both A and B Option 4 Intense Question, select the option from the following which we have to consider as we complete the Add New Custom Validation task. Option 1 Description Option 2 Category Option 3 Derived Logic Option 4 All of the above Question, which of the following activities do we have to perform after creating other unit types? Option 1 Add them to the unit's grid. Option 2 Access the view other unit types report to view other unit types and their usage. Option 3 Both A and B. Option 4 Add them to the unit's row. Question, on which of the following task do we have to create custom validation rule categories? Option 1 Maintain Condition Rule Categories Task Option 2 Add New Custom Validation Task Option 3 Maintain Drop Course Event Categories Task Option 4 Drop Learning Enrollment Task Question, which of the following combinations are contained in a blended course? Option 1 Lesson Combination of External Content Option 2 Media Option 3 Surveys Option 4 All of the above Question, which of the following option will be replaced by the workday if you add a new version for a course? Option 1 The current version Option 2 The old version Option 3 The modified version Option 4 The editing version Question, which of the following option do we have to select to restrict access to the course by security category segment? Option 1 Select a security category. Option 2 Click Create Learning Security Category to create a new category and restrict the category and course by security segment. 
Option 3 both A and B. Option 4 select a learning category. Question, select the value from the following which we have to enter to enable learners to enroll. Option 1 A value greater than 0. Option 2 A value lesser than 0. Option 3 A value greater than an integer. Option 4 A value greater than the prime number. Question, which of the following option do we have to mention for multiple instructor-led lessons? Option 1 allowed instructors. Option 2 allowed locations. Option 3 both A and B. Option 4 allowed numbers. Question, which of the following option do we have to set if the course offering contains instructor-led lessons? Option 1 primary instructors. Option 2 primary location. Option 3 both A and B. Option 4 primary participants. Question, which of the following report do we have to use to translate field values on the course business object in the learning, learning course management category to support global learning? Option 1 the business object translations report. Option 2 the cost report. Option 3 the completion report. Option 4 browse learning report. Question, which of the following report do we have to use to search for learning content? Option 1 manage learning content. Option 2 access type of requires enrollment. Option 3 both A and B. Option 4 administrative content. Question, state whether the given statement is true or false. BR slash you can only amend enrollment results for digital courses that have a status of not started or in progress. Option 1 yes. Option 2 no. Question, workday delivered reports that use the learning enrollments RDS include. Option 1 learner engagement. Option 2 learning by length of service. Option 3 my team and number 39, S learning. Option for all of the above. Question, which of the following report do we have to use to create campaign audiences? Option 1 the Find Extended Enterprise Learners Report. Option 2 Learning Access. Option 3 Reports, Extended Enterprise Usage Metrics. Option for all of the above. Question, extended enterprise learners can and number 39, T. Option 1, access drive. Option 2, become instructors. Earn competencies. Option 3, view contact information for instructors, learning contacts, and commenters. Option 4, all of the above. Question, which of the following domains do we have to configure in the security, learning core functional area? Option 1 Manage, Extended Enterprise. Option 2 Manage, Extended Enterprise Affiliation Learners. Option 3 Both A and B. Option 4 Manage, Extended Learnings. Question. Who among these can create extended enterprise learners depending on how you configure your security? Option 1 Internal Option 2 External Administrators Option 3 Both A and B Option 4 Supervisors Question, which of the following security groups will be assigned by the workday to the extended enterprise learner? Option 1 All Extended Enterprise Learners Option 2 Extended Enterprise Learner as Self Option 3 Both A and B Option 4 Extended Enterprise Learner as Group Question, on what basis Extended Enterprise Learners can consume learning content? 
Option 1 Training Option 2 Compliance Option 3 Knowledge Sharing Needs Option 4 All of the above Question, which of the following option will be appended by the Workday to their display names to help users identify extended enterprise learners? Option 1E Option 2Q Option 3P Option 4S Question, which of the following option we have to create and assign to affiliations? Option 1 Extended Enterprise Learners Option 2 Extended Enterprise Affiliation Learners Option 3 Extended Enterprise Managed Learners Option 4 Extended Enterprise Affiliation Learners Question, which of the following option do we have to use to assign members to extended enterprise affiliations? Option 1 Creating Option 2 Editing Extended Enterprise Learners Option 3 Both A and B Option 4 Sharing Question, to which of the following domain extended enterprise learners must have access in the learning core functional area to access your learning catalog through the learning dashboard? Option 1 Learning Atches Option 2 Location Access Option 3 Enterprise Access Option 4 Lesson Access Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.